today is our 779th day of uh, zoom session and uh, today's our guest is dr <coughs> amina meer uh, she has already taken classes for us uh, she is from udupi and uh, i i think uh, all of you know her <laughs> very well even though she has presented scientific papers about uh, diabetes mellitus and homeopathic management of anorectal disorders and today she is going to uh, talk about the psychoanalysis of medoran good evening friends as we all know knowledge and wisdom unless we apply or share it goes as a waste so whatever little knowledge i have let me share with you our great anti psychotic ganorial nosod medarinum roger morrison in his desktop guide says Medarinum is the most underrepresented polycrest in the repertory. We will almost never come to prescribe this remedy on the basis of repertorization. Like if you repertorize any case, even though you feel like medarinum is the medicine, you hardly see it in the repertory chart. Unlike sulfur. where for almost any rubric sulfur is there in our repertory medarinum can be described as an extremist there are two extreme ends in all the sectors like in physical pathologies mental states all aspects of his life it is said the patient bounces between extremes how this extremes work i will explain in the following slides it is indicated in children who frequently fall ill let us see one example of extremity either there is extreme introversion or very sensitive and shy two ends much energy and life these are all extroverts they answers directly without hesitation no fear of strangers unlike baraita kab and silesia these children are <laughs> very very extroverted they mingle with everyone they are playful they are full of energy there is early experimentation with drugs and other experience altering substances i would like to quote one clinical case here a young boy who was studying in the 8th standard about 12 year old was brought to my clinic his mother was accompanying him and she said doctor nowadays my son talks a lot and he is very restless he sleeps very late at night he doesn't sleep properly about his talk she said his talks are mainly of scientific contents he wants to join nasa he says he wants to manufacture a bicycle which will fly in the air so considering these symptoms i selected the rubrics talks of grandeur or theorizing so the child was given cannabis indica 200 and of course caliphos 6x to improve his sleep after that the patient didn't turn up 
but exactly after one year in the month of march again the mother brought the child with the similar type of complaints of course there was some addition of aggressiveness she says he frequently gets bouts of anger he came she came in the month of march when the child is has to appear for the his final exam so when the same type of symptomatology appeared exactly after one year i started having my doubts so sending the child outside i had a talk with the mother and ask her to keep a watch on his pocket money where he goes on his friends all the aspects and ultimately we came to know that because of forthcoming exams because of that stress level the children used to purchase iodex see iodex is easily available as a pain killer for local application the children used to lace the bread with iodex and eat and that was creating a kick to study or to get over the exam stress so these children fall into the category of who utilize these drugs and other experience altering substances at very young age you must have read sexual activities at an early age frequent handling of genitals you often get parents saying that the child handles the genitals pulls the penis every now and then or i had a girl who will keep her position in such a way on the sofa that the handle of the sofa should be lubricating on her clitoris looking at that odd posture and the child was getting pleasure out of doing that activities they came to us so masturbation in children we think of this medicine as i said always extremity they are either full of energy or there is lassitude on the other side high energy they will be always hasty or hurried behavior there is periodic swing between total inertia either they will be highly energetic or there will be total lack of activities or total inertia let us describe how this hyperactivity they are hyperactivity to the restless to the point of wildness it results into wildness they cannot concentrate or on anything forgets words especially the children have difficulty in concepts and what they are about to say in mathematics you usually require this concept forming and power of reasoning so other subjects social sociology moral science general knowledge they do the by hearting but when it comes to maths you require a reasoning capacity in such cases there is lack of reasoning ability so the children are very poor in maths i was just going through the synthetic repertory by barthel volume 1 page 728 there is a rubric mathematics inapt for inapt is opposite of aptitude or aptness so here they don't have any interest or aptitude for maths look here here also medarinum is not mentioned in the repertory belladonna calcarea kali carp lycopodium and citrullina mathematics inapt for i also wonder to see and read this rubric horror of mathematics calcarea carp 
lycopodium, natrum, or silesia, staphysia, staphysheria, and sulfur. No medarinum in this case also. So we can add medarinum as one of the medicines for inapt for mathematics, no interest in mathematics or horror of mathematics. The child hates to learn the subject of mathematics. Meanness and cruelty. They have frequent quarrels, screaming. This child strikes the parents, siblings, and friends. Very often from the school, the madam will tell, the teacher will tell that your child is so hyperactive, so restless that he beats others' children. There is one more medicine, Tarantula Hispanica, you all know. But here, apart from restlessness, the child is mischievous. He will pinch his friends and also there is kleptomania, like he will try to steal the pencil or the eraser from his friends. So that is more of Tarantula Hispanica. Here it is more of quarrelsome attitude. He always disturbs the class and the other children. Regarding this violence and cruelty, it has been described in various ways. They relish torturing and killing animals. At the same time, there is excessive love of pets, especially in children. In one case where the child has been asked, what are your hobbies? So the mother describes, my son likes to catch hold of cockroaches in the house. He will beat the cockroaches. And once they are at dead, what he enjoys doing is plucking the wings of the cockroach. And also he will go on plucking the limbs of the cockroach. The cruelty towards animals, one author describes like these children, when they are into the fits of anger, they will hold the, both the legs of their pet dog. They will whirl around and they will throw in a, um, in a basket containing water. They will drench the animal. This is again a site of height of violence. One author again describes, they will catch hold of small insects. They will put them in the sunlight, take this magnifying lens, concentrate the rays of sunlight on the insect. And if you ask them what they are doing, they will say, we are frying the insect. You must have seen certain a game certain children play. Like they will collect the pebbles and they will hit the frog. The person or the child who hits and aims at hitting the eye of the frog is a winner in this game. So they all have these violent games. There is episodic cruelty or rudeness. It comes in episode, all these things. Fits of violence, extreme polarity of behavior. That's what I said. Either there is full of energy or there is lassitude. Here, I would like to describe how these extremity work. A child, a female child, mentally challenged child came to my clinic. And the parents described one episode of aggressiveness. This child has seen one train while watching the TV. And from that time onwards, she wanted to have a ride in the train. The child went into temper tantrum, started beating the parents. Some or other, she wanted to go and enjoy the ride. Ultimately, the parents have to take the, the child to the railway station, take some permission, make that child sit for five minutes in the train and come back. That was the aggressive phase of a child. But the same child, when she came to my clinic, 
she waited for one and half hours without making any restlessness without making any disturbance to anyone with her mobile see there was one episodic aggravation at the same time the child has a patience to wait for one and half hour without disturbing anyone so this is bipolarity or extreme polarity of behavior they also have self destructive tendencies they want to hit by themselves they will beat themselves in the fit of anger sudden flips into emotionally regressive behavior the same child who is showing temper tantrums who is aggressive beating others at the same time he can slip into emotionally regressive behavior like thumb sucking regarding the violence as i said there are temper tantrums great intolerance to contradiction they do not like to be opposed they have anti social behavior biting others kicking punching spitting one author describes a case where a child has accompanied with the parents has gone to a hospital and suddenly there was one patient who was on the wheelchair who has been operated for cataract having a bandage on the eye this child of madorinum he suddenly slipped from his parents went near that operated patient and he pulled the bandage on the eye of a patient so such type of sudden anti social behavior where the parents will feel start shameful behavior on the action of the child now when they have this anti social behavior naturally we know the parents will get angry and the result is naturally punishment what is punishment to this child they long for reprimand they loves forbidden things the mother says whatever i tell him not to do he will do it whatever forbids him they will do it punishment is the love language for this child so naturally in such cases the parents under the name of discipline they have to be strict they start punishing the child for the anti social behavior or if the child is born lefty the parents want that he should write with the right hand then they will start beating on the left hand making him to write with the right hand in this strict parenting and punishment slowly the child goes into perfectionism or what we call fastidious nature with light ocd type behavior so a madorinum child born as a madorinum child with the strict parenting what we call military rule in the family turns towards fastidious perfectionist and repetitive behaviors in order to achieve the perfectionist turns into cancer miasm where we require in the adult stage carcinogen they love to observe violence you will see that such children they enjoy on the tv the wrestling the crime serial the murder mysteries lying tendencies they often lie to the parents and in the bargain what they give explanation is it's not my fault at all great wish not to have anything bad said about them they don't like anything said bad to them let me describe cognitive difficulties inborn mental and physical dwarfism 
minor chromosomal aberration weak memory for conceptual thoughts i have already explained how maths is a very difficult subject for children so concept anything when they have to prove anything which cannot be by hearted and brought back when they have to prove something that concept and reasoning is very very difficult for such children poor spellers and forgets the meaning of common words especially names in particular they don't remember names of the persons inability to judge the passage of time as i have already described they bounce into two extremes when either they are full of energy or in the phase of lassitude when the person is in the phase of lassitude or boredom time passes too slowly whatever they do time passes very slowly and that happens in the phase of boredom you must have read this symptom or rubric time passes too slowly so it happens in a phase of lassitude confusion about directions difficulty in deciding right and left i have a child who often used to wear her footwear vice versa so whenever the child used to come from the school and keep her footwear they were always kept in a vice versa right into left and left into right this happens even in certain people while driving they have difficulty in deciding right and left so they will put the right signal but take the vehicle on the left side so it can be useful in certain dysgraphia like mistakes in writing alphabets they usually write upside down the p is written with a bent downward or the d is written as a mirror image or always there is one missing alphabet in a word if there is a word like peace p e a c e they will miss one e out of that and it will turn out to be only a four letter word so they will always miss one alphabet in a word in such cases i always ask the parents to bring the notebook or their study book from the school and there you can make out the way the child writes or the mistakes what he commits in the notebook so school books school notebooks gives lot of information about their handwriting and uh, the way they write and the mistakes what they commit so minor cases of dysgraphia can be treated with this medicine anomalies in the development of gross or fine motor skills which happens in down syndrome where they are unable to hold the pen or the pencil they are very the grip is very poor that time also you will see that their notes are incomplete they are unable to complete whatever the teacher says the parents often have to communicate with the other children and complete the notes by hearting they are 100% all right the children whatever the teacher says on the nursery rhymes everything they are 100% all right but when it comes to the muscular ability fine motor skills like grip and writing the child is poor in such cases we also think of medarinum functional problem with inability to concentrate short attention span adhd cases where the child is very hyperactive cannot sit in one place loses the thread of conversations when they are talking suddenly there is a gap they don't know what to tell after certain sentence in hindi my patients often say dr sahab zahan mein hai magar zuban par nahi aata that means the word is there in their brain in their thought but they are unable to verbalize inability to focus or make sense of words spoken this usually happens 
in case of senile group mental confusion will lead to dyslexia they often have late talking learning new words slowly and delay in learning to read here the mind is ahead of the mouth there are activities in the brain the mind decides what to say but you are unable to verbalize so there is paucity of words the patient will start with one sentence and half the sentence he gets stuck he is unable to progress further and complete the sentence pseudo ambidextrous normal ambidextrous is a good phenomena as we all know according to the neuroscience there is a word called neuroplasticity we should keep on working and utilizing both our hands we always brush with our right hand but sometimes voluntarily consciously we should try brushing with the left hand so that both the parts of our brain both the sides of the brain will be actively involved but in medarinum cases there is always confusion the child doesn't know whether to write with right hand or with left hand for some time he will write with right hand then he sees that no no this is not correct i should write with my left hand then he will try with the left hand but in the bargain what happens he will write sometimes with the right hand sometimes with the left hand and in the bargain he never develops <coughs> a skill or a mastery on any one thing they switch hands during activities and never quite master a skill with either one this is all because of the mental confusion such activities we see in sports sometimes they will bow with the right hand sometimes they will bow with the left hand and they themselves unable to call whether they are a right hand bowler or a left hand the same way happens with the handwriting so this is called pseudo ambidextrous ambidextrous phenomena is quite good in fact i have read there is one school in some bihar or something where the headmaster or the principal he himself is ambidextrous and he believes in writing with the both hands not only with that he has trained few students to write with both the hands so their speed has improved their time is saved they can complete their papers in a very short time and their brain is equally developed so being a ambidextrous phenomena is a good thing it comes under neuroplasticity but pseudo ambidextrous is a little bit wrong because the child this is a confused state of mind where you don't know which hand to be used so in such cases we can think of medarinum then the fears fear of being alone in darkness you know the other medicines lycopodium phosphorus pulsatilla and stramonium the children they have fear of water large bodies of water especially when they are afraid to go into the sea water or afraid of swimming water poured on head there is always feeling of suffocation i had a patient a child of 3 year old not only head bath is a very troublesome they are unable to give head bath to him body bath is okay not only to that extent he start crying the moment you put a shirt t-shirt because t-shirt has to go from head to his body he refuses to put the t-shirt all his clothes have to be taken care they have to slide from his arms and put so just mere the act of putting the t-shirts from head down was suffocating to the child he never likes to wear those t-shirts 
he was all the time clinging to the parents so on that points i have not given him madarinam it was a clinging and suffocation feeling i have given stramonium to that child so there is fear of water poured on head that is because of the feeling of suffocation it causes then fear of unseen things very often of course nowadays we see them on the tv we have not seen dinosaurs shark whale but still we have this fear of things we have never seen in our life fear of dogs of course you know tuberculosis is one of the main medicine for fear of dogs fear of slimy creatures which are very slimy like toads jellyfish snail then fear of closed places agrophobia argentum nitricum like going into the lift these are the few types of fear the child usually these things are observed in children so that's why i am using every now and then child children this comes under more of behavioral disorders so let me say something about the sleep these are called night persons they always sleep very late feel hot in bed nightmares as if dogs are chasing or biting even medarinum has a nightmare that somebody is chasing him somebody is coming behind him and trying to chase him you must have read this very common symptom sleeps on abdomen or knee chest position this symptom i have often observed in case of adenoids or when the child has got marked nose block the child is unable to sleep on the back so very restless when they have to sleep on the back they they are unable to get the air entry properly so they don't enter into the sleep so the, during that time the child goes on upside down or sleeps on his tummy or in nichos position to relieve his nose block that may be the pathological condition of course my topic today i have restricted to only the behavior symptoms or the psychoanalysis wakes up refreshed with full of energy as i have told in the beginning the children are always full of energy and uh, extroverted children with a good sleep they always wake up refreshed and full of energy thank you this is a small topic it's good i finished in only 30 minutes today i kept my clock nearby so that i should not break the 45 minutes rule this medorinum medicine is uh, very best for uh, ladies that mm. means after menopause uh, for rheumatic complaints is it yes. see is it i am i have not covered pathology in my speech because that will extend the timing so i have restricted myself to psyche or behavior pathological wise medarinum is definitely useful in chronic joint pains like rheumatoid arthritis we are treating ozena like very foul discharges from the nose chronic otorrhea and also genital warts these are the few pathological changes which i have treated with medorin ma'am can you explain yeah. which potency is sir apt yes. in prescribing medorin please yes. explain about the potency sir yes yes see i have medorin in 200 potency and 1 m potency 200 potency i use in all the pathological disorders as i already said chronic uh, joint pains or rheumatoid arthritis genital warts i have treated with medorinum and uh, chronic 
foul smelling nasal discharges chronic otorrhea all such cases where i have to say that medarinum is indicated but the pathological cases i have used 200 potency the cases where it is mainly the emotional upsets or the behavioral changes adhd physical restlessness violence in children difficulty in learning math that is what i have described higher functions deterioration of higher functions definitely need higher potency so in such cases i have used 1m i have only two potencies with me 200 and 1m so pathological disorders 200 potency emotional and uh, uh, behavior problems 1m potency see usually a child is born either a right handed person or a left handed there are many lefties Amitabh Bachchan is left-handed. Sachin Tendulkar is left-handed. Very often they say people who are born lefties they are genius people. So we are born with a writing center in our brain. If it is situated on the left side, we turn out to be right-handed person. If it is on the right side, we turn out to be left-handed person. So that is our born ability. But in certain cases, certain parents. they are fixed with the notion that you should always write with the right hand the same way when we got go near the temple when we take the prasada we should always have our right hand we should take always with the right hand so in certain children who are born as lefty if the parents insist if the parents wants to discipline them or if the parents want to train them to write with a right hand it's a added burden to the child because the center is on the right side so they are unable to do right hand performance in that cases they get punishment from the parents hitting on the hand something like that and there the child has to perform for the parents he start writing and trying to write with the right hand with a added burden so he has to become perfect his handwriting has to become perfect but it's a extra load because his center is situated and as he is born on the left that acts as a extra pressure so the child turns out to be more fastidious more perfectionist and goes into a sort of ocd obsessive compulsive disorder the child will keep on repeating the things and we have seen the rubric fastidiousness perfectionism childhood punishment or lot of discipline in the and punishment in childhood military rule the constitution usually turn out to be cancer myasm requiring carcinosin that is what we have seen and we have read especially in rajan shankaran books if you read soul of remedies spirit of homeopathy you will see this how this cancer myasm works so that is what what i mean to say a medarinum child with the punishment and strict parenting can turn into cancer myasm requiring carcinosin how long do you wait in between the doses i usually give if it is very sure shot one single dose and maybe the other medicines like caliphos 6x we have prescribed in sleeplessness or uh, uh, other uh, brain related activities learning difficulty i have always prescribed caliphos 6x at the adjuvant so usually i give one single medicine and wait for 3 weeks i give usually 3 weeks medicine as per the follow up if they have reacted very well to the 1m if no other medicine is indicated then i might go to 10m or very often one single dose in such behavioral disorder it helps i had a case where a young boy of 6 years 
was coming every day wearing the frock or the shirt or the skirt or something no doubt he has one sister who is elder to him so the boy, boy was always saying to how put the feminine dresses for him to the extent he used to come to my clinic with a, a red rose on his head with a she used to clip with a, a hair clip on a red rose on his head with all the feminine dress so when he was constantly clinging to the mother crying if you ask him to wear any jeans or the t-shirt on that pattern i gave him pulsatilla 10m one single dose maybe i have not given any other thing except five fos or something after 2 to 3 months the mother said now he wants to wear what his dad wants to wear so a male or a wanting to have a feminine dresses always clinging very shy nature we can turn the constitution with our homeopathic medicine we can able to do the tremendous behavioral changes what about repetition it depends on the case if the symptoms are remaining or if the symptoms are not uh, annihilated or showing any improvement then i need to repeat either with the higher potency or if the symptoms change then maybe change of medication but higher potencies are repeated in this uh, maybe once in a month or once in a three months if the symptoms persist then only we require repetition otherwise not maximum 3 weeks to 4 weeks you can have one single dose and watch the patient ask the parents to bring their books their mathematics books see the changes what was there before one month how are the handwriting now what are the spelling changes so all these things you can do the retrospective study and decide about your repetition that yes. uh, there is a notion among uh, the people that uh, this disorder among the children will yes. be rectified uh, during the course of uh, their age right? when they get the yes. blood is it yes. correct is there yes. any uh, okay. yes to some extent it is definitely correct what we call creating awareness you know if you train the person if you create the awareness if you do what we call counseling psychotherapy telling in the subject and the brain has a because this is all because of the confusion there are no permanent changes in the brain it's only the little bit of confusion so if we can convince to our conscious brain then it is possible to turn into uh, a reformation or whatever the required changes but sometimes it may not be possible if the center is very strongly located and if the child is born in born the feet then very often our efforts our punishment or our awareness or our psychotherapy may not help and with the modern science we all have this awareness so very often the parents also understand the situation and they don't go into the reforms only the thing is this violence and aggressiveness see the games what the children were playing before giving madorinum watching the tv serials of crime and violence and punching and hitting someone and getting pleasure out of pain to someone else that can be rectified with our madorinum and their approach towards life they will stop seeing all those things they will turn towards watching the animal patterns and the geography serials something like that so the subconscious mind will have definitely changes with our homeo medicines we can reach to that level that is what i would like to say because we can observe tremendous changes after the high doses of indicated medicine in due course of time their nature changes their aggressiveness comes down there are less fighting in the schools i often say i am not the best judge you ask the teacher because the child is staying for a long period of time in the class so i see the child maybe once in a month you are seeing only 
his behavior at home but socializing what we call mixing with the other children the behavior is best observed by the teacher that's how they have this parents teacher meeting where all these feedback their question papers their answer sheets everything is given to the parents to understand on the other hand i am happy nowadays all the schools recently i have read they have a counseling a teacher for counseling and a behavioral therapist wanted in the school see how the approach has started that there has to be changes there has to be moral education right in the beginning of budding stage and the schools are appointing now the behavioral therapist in their campus not that they are not referring to the hospital they are appointing a behavioral therapist in the school campus so that the child will have easy access to the therapist and the behavior can be changed if we give these medicines right on time we will be able to prevent the future criminals from our society uh, there is any possibility for punishing the children by the parents in these cases will it have a negative impact on this uh, disease and uh, anything like that any positive or negative impact? no no disease? there won't be any pun punishment never uh, involves uh, betterment awareness no. awareness no. makes you refined yeah that's a negative impact that's that what is I mean. definitely negative the patient the child will again go into doing the things which are forbidden the mother says i tell him not to do but he will do the same thing which i ask him not to do understand so yes, it yes. causes a negative impulse so punishment never helps in reform while as awareness hugging the patient touching the patient giving him more of your quality time you will bring tremendous change in his conscious level and there will be reforms the Thank same you. thing is they are doing in jails okay jails yeah yeah, yeah. They are doing already punishment they have done now <laughs> they are shifting to our meditation and reforms how the things when they come out of the jail how they can be the, they are no more criminals and how the society should accept them as the normal persons in the society so reforms are necessary not the punishment even the capital punishment of hanging it is said it's a judiciary revenge because you are not allowing any person to reform that's what my thinking is whether the the medicine uh, medorinum uh, should be uh, uh, better used as an intercurrent remedy or a constitutional remedy that was the question i supposed to ask Uh, but i think uh, we, we can go either way but uh, what, which is the best best way as far as you are concerned madam it's mainly on the indications we give sometimes yes. i can even start the medicine start yes. the treatment with medicine the case what i have described the episodic uh, phenomena of aggression and with lots of patients in fact i have started the treatment with medorinum one m no other medicine so it can be the best similimum and in certain yes. cases it required as a intercurrent medicine like in rheumatoid arthritis when you are given restox pryonia all the other things that time without any injury indications of on behavioral patterns we can use it as a intercurrent it depends on the case it can be used as a similimum as a either intercurrent medicine or a constitutional medicine. 